It's hard to believe, but the last episode of the sitcom Friends was released almost 20 years ago. More than 51 million viewers in the US and 10 million in the UK watched the episode with tears in their eyes, where Friends symbolically left their keys on the table and left the apartment. Years later, we still love these heroes, and we worry about them as for our loved ones. Therefore, it's not surprising that we are interested in the fate of those who played them. Today in Biographer Express, we will tell you how the actors of the TV series Friends live. Which of them are happily married, and who was caught cheating? Which actors remained friends in real life? And who is now struggling with addiction, unable to cope with the weight of fame? You'll find out everything now. The producers of the series took an unusually scrupulous approach to the selection of the main characters, seeing this as the future key to success. So, Matt LeBlanc, who played Joey Tribbiani, was chosen after watching more than a thousand candidates. The difficulty of the search was that the rest of the actors at the auditions were simply not funny. Je, je, ma, ma, pelle, pelle. Great, okay, faster. Je, je, ma, ma, pelle, pelle. Je m'appelle. Mes poupou. LeBlanc turned out to not only be comical, but also looked like his character, looking for his main role as an actor. As in the case of Joey, fame was in no hurry to handsome Matt. By the time he got his star role in Friends, he was completely impoverished and starved. The young man came to the audition with $11 in his pocket. Subsequently, LeBlanc, actually playing himself, began to receive millions of fees. Well, you have a phone in here? That's right. I have a phone in here. <laughs> Joey, promise me something. Yeah. Never call me from that phone. When the Friends series ended, Matt continued acting, his character in the next sitcom, which was named after his hero, Joey. Alas, the show did not gain much popularity and lasted only two years. Back during the filming of Friends in 1997, LeBlanc met American model Melissa McKnight. They got married in May 2003. A year later, the couple delighted everyone with the news of the birth of their daughter, who was named Marina. But the couple's marriage lasted only three years, as Matt stumbled and cheated on her. Despite public apologies to his wife, they divorced in 2006. The separation from his wife coincided with the beginning of creative inactivity, which lasted until 2011. During this time, Matt LeBlanc tried himself as a producer, but did not succeed too well. Popularity returned to LeBlanc when he began playing himself again in the series Episodes in 2011. In his personal life, Matt never changed his bachelor status. Hey. How you doing? Oh, please. Hey, how you doing? After the divorce, LeBlanc dated Andrea Anders, who co-starred in the series Joey. But in 2015, after eight years of life together, they broke up. On the set of the mega popular show about cars, Top Gear, where Matt was a co-host, he started an affair with the producer of the project, Aurora Mulligan. However, their relationship also came to naught because of life at a distance. After two years of participating in the show, in 2019, Matt left the project, arguing that he wanted to spend more time with family and friends. Despite the fact that Matt liked being a presenter, he said the following, Time commitment and extensive travel takes me away from my family and friends more than I'm comfortable with. In 2016, the sitcom Man with a Plan began to air, where Matt played the main role. The show was canceled in 2020 after four seasons. Now the actor is 55 years old and he does not appear in films very often. Courtney Cox played the role of Monica Geller. The actress so organically fit into her on-screen image that it seems as if she was not acting, but just living. Maybe that's why Courtney is the only one of her six friends who has never been nominated for an Emmy Award. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. In 1999, Cox married actor David Arquette. During the filming of the series, she had to mask her growing belly. In June 2004, she gave birth to daughter Coco Riley. The godmother was her friend on the series and life, Jennifer Aniston. Courtney has also experienced sad events. She had several miscarriages. In 2013, the couple broke up. After the divorce, Courtney dated musician Johnny McDade for a while. But the difficult character of the actress did not allow the relationship to last. Guys, I am not that bad. Yeah, you are, Monica. <laughs> Remember, I lived with you. You were like a little, you know. That is so unfair. 
Courtney has had several plastic surgeries, which she's not happy about, and some fans consider them not too successful. It's worth looking at the photos, before and after. There was a time when you go, oh, I'm changing, I'm looking older, Cox once said, and I didn't realize that. Oh shit, I'm actually looking really strange with injections and doing stuff to my face that I would never do now. In an interview in 2017, she admitted that she eventually dissolved all her fillers and learned to feel comfortable with her natural appearance. Yeah, it's, it's something you can't keep up with, so the more you relax into it and the less I try, because sometimes you find yourself trying and then you look at a picture of yourself and go, oh god, yeah, like, you look horrible. Cox was actively filming before, during, and after the shooting of Friends. The most notable work of the actress, which earned her a Golden Globe nomination, was her role in the TV series Cougar Town. In recent years, she has managed to star in the fourth and fifth parts of Scream, the independent film Mothers and Daughters, and others. Now the actress is 58 years old. She has plans for the next film of the Scream franchise. Now it's time to write in the comments which of the series Friends you love the most, and why. We read everything and like the most interesting ones. The role of Ross Geller, a romantic paleontologist, was played by David Schwimmer, for whom the script was originally written. We were on a break! <laughs> oh my god, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna break up with you. However, the producers had to persuade David to star in Friends because he did not see himself in a television project. As a result, Schwimmer coped with his role perfectly, for which he was nominated for an Emmy Award in 1995 as Outstanding Actor in a Television Series. He also received a nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award. Oh, wow! After 27 years in the project Friends the Reunion, Schwimmer admitted that he was in love with his on-screen girlfriend Jennifer Aniston, not only according to the script. However, they never stepped across the line. At the end of the series, David continued to work in the cinema. His most famous works besides Friends are the voice acting of Giraffe Melman in the animated franchise Madagascar. Hey, hey you guys! That, that room has some nifty little sinks you can wash up in and look! Free mints! Roles in the films Six Days, Seven Nights and The Iceman, as well as in the TV series American Crime Story and Feed the Beast. By the way, his performance in American Crime Story was praised by critics and brought David an Emmy nomination. In 2020, he returned to the good old sitcoms, starring in the British TV series Intelligence. The actor is actively engaged in charity and social activities. He's the director of the Rape Treatment Center in Santa Monica. In November 2011, he allowed the Scottish charity Children First to show the film Trust, which he directed. This was done in honor of the World Day for the Prevention of Child Abuse and Violence Against Children. In his personal life, David was not a monogamist and often changed girlfriends while remaining single. Where are we? Huh? <laughs> no, like where are we? Where is this relationship going? Hmm. This continued until a meeting in 2007 with photographer Zoe Buckman. Schwimmer confirmed his relationship only three years after they began, when he announced his engagement. In 2011, the couple had a daughter, Cleo. But unfortunately, the love is over six years later. Schwimmer separated from his wife. A few years later, he began a new romance with Katie Markowitz, who is 24 years younger than him. The actor does not comment on this relationship. David takes great care of himself. They say that he did a rhinoplasty, and also, with a height of 5'9", he weighs 176 pounds. Now, the actor is 56 years old. The audience also remembered the supporting actors, who also became an integral part of the plot of Friends. James Michael Tyler played Gunther, the coffee shop manager. Despite the fact that this is not the main character, Gunther often appeared in the scenes and had replicas. Put the mouse back in the house. The creators of the series say that Tyler got his role because he knew how to use a coffee maker. For the first four seasons, he continued to work in a coffee shop in parallel with the filming, where he was found for the role of a guy in the background. He played more than 150 episodes, and they even came up with a storyline for him hopelessly in love with Rachel. Say, Rachel, I was wondering if you'd like to go to a movie with me sometime. As my lover. <laughs> mm, too out there. Maybe you'd just like to get something to eat with me sometime. As my lover. After the filming of Friends was completed, Tyler no longer starred in any significant role. Unfortunately, after the release of the special project Friends the Reunion, where everyone saw him via video link, 
Tyler died of cancer. He was only 59 years old. Maggie Wheeler played Janice, Chandler's girlfriend, and appeared frequently throughout the series. Maggie originally auditioned for the role of Monica, but she was rejected. Oh. My. God. Interestingly, she developed her unpleasant laughter and friends based on the cry of a dolphin and Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Wheeler voiced several animated characters, starred in many films and TV series. The X-Files, on which she had an affair with David Duchovny, Emergency Room, How I Met Your Mother, were among them. The latest of her projects are Shameless in 2018 and The Addams Family, which was released in 2019. Jane Sabat, who played Ross's first wife, ended her acting career in 2008 and took up producing. For a long time, she was an advocate for victims of domestic violence, working with the shelters of the 1736 Family Crisis Center. Jane Sabat also tries herself in writing. In 2019, she won the Michael D. Publishers Award, receiving a scholarship to work on the manuscript of her memoir about Jane. As for the screen father of Monica and Ross, Elliot Gould is a very productive actor. However, his peak of fame came in the distant 70s and 80s, after which the actor began to prefer supporting roles. His more prominent roles in recent years are in the TV series Ray Donovan, Grace and Frankie, and The Kaminsky Method. In 2023, he turns 85 years old. Christina Pickles, who played Judy Geller, despite her advanced age, also continues to actively act, mainly in TV series. She even won an Emmy Award in 2018 for Best Actress in the series Break a Hip. Before we move on to the fate of the compelling Jennifer Aniston, we suggest you click on the subscription button and the bell so you won't miss the release of new videos about your favorite celebrities. Subscribe, and we continue. Jennifer Aniston played the role of Rachel Green in Friends, a runaway bride who decided to become an independent woman. You're a shoe, you're a shoe, you're a shoe. And then today I just stopped and I said, what if I don't want to be a shoe? What if I want to be a, a purse, you know, or, 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 or a hat? No, I don't want you to buy me a hat. I'm saying that I am a hat. It's a metaphor, daddy. Despite the fact that at first, the leading storyline of Heroes was assigned to Monica and Joey, Already in the first episode, it became clear that Aniston had pulled the interest on herself. For this beloved role, Jennifer received Emmy and Golden Globe Awards, and also became mega popular. How do you expect me to grow if you won't let me blow? Interestingly, Rachel's hairstyle became a hit for many women around the world, although the actress herself did not really like it. I mean, she's doing it because she wants to be more like you. Well, then, you know, couldn't she have just copied my haircut? Perhaps Aniston can be considered the most successful of the six main actors of Friends. She has dozens of successful films in which the actress managed to shoot between filming and Friends. The most notable of them are Bruce Almighty, He's Just Not That Into You, and Just Go With It. In 2000, the actress married Brad Pitt, a favorite of the female audience. The couple was considered the most beautiful in Hollywood. However, the marriage lasted only five years and ended in a huge scandal because of Pitt's infidelity with Angelina Jolie. Aniston had a hard time parting, and the couple's fans literally went crazy from the fairy tale that ended. Despite this, Jin found the strength to continue living, and yoga helped her a lot. Now, her irreplaceable helpers in maintaining mental and physical condition are fitness, which she engages in at least five times a week, and proper nutrition. The actress is actively filming all the time. She tried herself as a director and producer. Jennifer dated actor Justin Thoreau for a while, and the couple even legalized relationships in 2015. They broke up in 2018. Despite the failures in her personal life, the actress continues to believe in love and relationships. Jennifer Aniston's career is still going uphill. She not only served as executive producer, but also played the role of the host Alex Levy in the streaming series of 2019, The Morning Show. Guess what? America loves me. And therefore, I own America. The series was a success, and in 2022, it was renewed for a third season. Aniston also has her own business, the Lola V Cosmetics brand, which previously released perfumes and now hair and skin products. Now, Jennifer Aniston is 54 years old, and she looks great. Matthew Perry played the role of Chandler Bing in Friends, who became famous for his sarcasm. Too many jokes. 
must mock Joey. <laughs> nice shoes, huh? Die, you're killing me! As with LeBlanc, it wasn't easy to find an actor who was funny enough. When Matthew appeared, everything fell into place. Perry really has the talent of a comedian, which is confirmed by many comedic roles, such as Three to Tango, Seventeen Again, Almost Heroes, and Serving Sarah. Unfortunately, fame did not benefit the actor. Even on the set of Friends, Matthew Perry started having problems with alcohol. My apartment isn't there anymore because I drank it. Later, drug addiction was added. On the set of the special project Friends the Reunion, Perry was just at the beginning of another struggle with addictions. He admitted that he spent $9 million to bring back a healthy lifestyle. One day, Perry took an overdose of pain medication and his heart stopped for five minutes. He wrote about his struggle in his memoirs, which were published in the fall of 2022. During a difficult period of treatment for him, Jennifer Aniston, a colleague on the TV series Friends, extended a helping hand. Perry knew Jennifer even before filming together and was in love with her. But because of the non-reciprocity, he gave up courtship. In his youth, Matthew had an affair with many beautiful women, such as Julia Roberts, Lizzie Kaplan, Lauren Graham, and Yasmin Bleeth. But, as he admits today, the reason for the breakups was mainly his self-doubt. Despite his health difficulties due to addictions, all the years after Friends, Matthew Perry starred a lot. One of his most common films is The Whole Nine Yards, where Bruce Willis became his co-star. Matthew's last works in cinema were released in 2017, the TV series The Good Fight and the miniseries The Kennedys after Camelot. In 2020, Matthew signed up for Instagram. This event delighted the fans so much that they even set a record for subscriptions to his account. During the first day, the actor already had more than a million subscribers. And I just want a million dollars! <laughs> Matthew Perry is 53 now. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he was young, <laughs> but we still love him. Lisa Kudrow, who played Phoebe Buffay, was the second to get her role in the TV series Friends. P as in Phoebe, H as in Hebe, O as in Ob, E as in Eb, B as in BB, and E as in hello there, mate. For her character, Lisa received an Emmy Award and two awards from the Screen Actors Guild. Also, she's known for her roles in the films The Opposite of Sex, for which she received several awards, P.S. I Love You, Analyze This, and Analyze That. Compared to the dizzying popularity in Friends, Kudra's further career was not so successful. I don't need you or anybody else. I'm gonna make it on my own. However, she's fully rewarded in her personal life. While filming Friends, she met her future husband, Michael Stern, with whom they have been married since 1995. On the set of Friends, she appears pregnant with her son. The producers decided to fit this fact into the plot of the sitcom. One of the babies is kicking. I thought that was a good thing. It's not kicking me, it's kicking one of the other babies. <laughs> oh, don't make me come in there! Now, her son, Julian Murray, is 24 years old. He graduated from the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts. Interestingly, Lisa's son influenced the fact that the couple no longer had children. Murray ambiguously expressed that he did not want a brother or sister, and his parents decided to respect his desire. After the end of the series Friends, Lisa worked on several TV shows as a producer, such as Web Therapy, The Comeback, and starred in small roles. Lisa is a vegetarian. She is still slim and continues to be friends with Courtney Cox as when she was filming Friends. Now Lisa Kudrow is 59 years old, although she does not look her age. Smelly cat. Each of the actors has put all their skills into their role, which is why we love Friends so much. But have you ever wondered who is the main character of this sitcom? Yes, at first glance, the question is strange. All six central characters are important to the plot, and it's not easy to choose the main one among them. But in our other video, we tried to do it anyway. And it seems we found the answer, which, however, you may disagree with. Click on the icon that appears on your screen and join our investigation. But first, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. Biographer Express was with you. Stay with us, because it's even more interesting next time.